In this video we're going to have a look at uh, editing the raw footage we've uh, shot. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, uh, we'll have a look now at editing the raw footage that, that we've shot. I'm just going to open this folder. You need to be quite organised with the um, raw footage since there's several steps involved and the actual data is quite large as well so you just need to be quite organised with where you store it. And I've stored this in a uh, folder here called Raw Lesson and the footage I want to have a look at here is some 5D3 footage. Now the steps that are going to, I'm going to go through are going to be the same pretty well as for the 650D or 700D Rebel cameras as well but there are a couple of extra steps you've got to take for those cameras. After you've done those steps you can just apply these steps but I'll look, uh, we'll go first through um, the normal steps you take. So the raw footage I go there I've actually shot it in MLV format which is the magic lantern format now actually that is the same as raw footage it is raw footage it's just got a, it's got a wrap around it which actually also allows you to record sound and uh, I find that quite useful you don't need to record it like that you can record it directly into raw uh, the normal raw format but as it's the same but just the addition of sound I think MLV is quite a handy format to have um, if you want to convert that into raw it's very simple as well you just strip away the uh, the sound wrapper and some of the other metadata and I'll show you how to do that as well. So we'll start at the beginning. So having got our footage, I'm just going to open up the first step we're going to take and I'm going to go into the software we're going to use and just to view the footage and the MLV footage, the raw footage, I'm going to use this utility, a free one, MLV Browse Sharp. I'll just double click on that. It opens this screen and I've got my footage actually stored. That's a shortcut to it my default uh, lesson and if I click on there you see it shows that MLV file there that one there and you can see if I can if I pull my mouse over and hold it down I can actually pull it across the footage to have a look at it so it's a very useful utility and you can hear there it's actually got some sound on it as well it's the MLV side of it now with that um, if you right click your mouse over the uh, footage you want to deal with. You can see then in this software you've got two options. You've got one, I can export it as a RAW and a WAV file, which I'll, I'll do just to show you. You end up then just with the RAW format as well, which is handy if you want to have processed from RAW. Or you can just go straight to the DNG plus WAV. I'm actually going to put it into RAW plus WAV. I could go to this one, but just so you can see the RAW format as well, the standard RAW format. So. I'm going to say export file as raw plus wav and click on that and that's a previous some previous work I'm doing so I'm going to go and say so you need to be quite organized on it so I'm going to go into the correct folder here and you can see that's the original footage from we had that one there now you need to be quite organized because this is going to create um, other files so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that here I'm going to create the raw file in here so click save and it's going to go through all the frames you can see they're converting them to raw and stripping out the uh, sound okay so it's near in the end it, it does take a, a bit of a while to do this so as I say it's going through all of the uh, raw frames in the footage it says a success so it's done it there in fact if you see here in the folder now as well as the original MLV file we've got the ML raw file as well if we want to work through that and we've also got it stripped out of the MLV footage also a raw soundtrack which you can hear here it's an extra couple of steps you need to take and um, so that's quite handy having the MLV raw format as I say it basically combines both the raw and a, a WAV file as well. So that's done um, that conversion. So we've got a raw file now. And uh, by the way, just on when you first see the uh, using this utility here, you might remember when you first see this, it kind of looks the, the pictures actually look uh, look very dark. Well, that's just that's just the fact it is raw. There's nothing wrong with your footage. You've got all the detail in there. That's just the fact of having the raw footage. Yeah. Oh. Um, if you pull your oh, mouse through it, it brightens it up a bit. So I mean, don't worry too much about that because that's just uh, how the raw footage appears. But it's actually fine. You know? yeah. 
So um, having converted now, you can see now in the folder there, we've got the MLV file. You can look at uh, raw files as well. So you can view them like that. So having done that, we're going to go now to the, um, the next step, which we're going to convert. Um, well, you could either do it directly from MLV or if you're working just with the raw file, you're going to do it from the raw file. So I'm going to um, just click on now the raw file, right click on it. And uh, you, can hear, you can see here, you can export the file as a DNG plus WAV. You can also use other utilities, and if I go back up here as well to software, you could also drag it onto raw to DNG, which will also create um, a, uh, the DNG files that you need to actually work in uh, programs like uh, After Effects, etc., and uh, Adobe Camera Raw. So I'm going to create that now. Now I could just right click on that and it will export them as a DNG plus WAV. But I'll show you how you do it just with raw to DNG, for example, which a lot of people use. And um, if I go into this here, now you've got to be careful when you're working with these files because what will happen is it'll just create the um, file wherever your original file is. And you may want to organize your files a little bit better than that because it will create literally hundreds of these uh, DNG files. So I'm just going to create a folder here called a DNG. And I'm going to put my raw I'll show it down here I'm just going to put it into that so put my raw file into that as you can see so my raw file is in there now because what will happen is when we run the uh, raw to GNG program it'll actually uh, create all the, automatically create all the DNG files in here so so I'm just going to now create the DNG file. So I'm just going to open up where the software is. I'm going to use raw to DNG here. Um, and I'm just going to drag on my raw file onto the uh, raw to DNG. And it will start, you can see there, extracting them all. And you immediately see all the DNG files opening in the, uh, the folder you created for the DNG files. And I've got them linked to Adobe Bridge, just I think that's, I'll show you that, I think it's a very useful way of dealing with the um, uh, DNG files when you've actually uh, created them as a kind of a, a way between working with them and with After Effects. So that'll run as you see there, it'll take a while to convert, there's quite a lot of them there, them into the uh, full sequence of DNG files. Okay, so that's taken probably a couple of minutes at least, maybe three, three or four minutes to actually convert those um, convert the original raw file into the DNG files. It's just finishing them off now, you can see. And you'll see there in the main folder, if I scroll down, it'll have, you can see there it's got two and a half thousand of them from a sequence which was probably, you know, a few minutes long, a couple of minutes long. So that's, uh, so that's done the um, conversion now. So we've got our DNG files now. So the next thing is to actually open them.